What up, people? To me from Mean Tech Reviews, back again with another video. It's been a while. I think it's been like two months. I'm dressed up for a very special occasion, and it's because we got 1,000 subscribers. Finally, 1,003, no, 1,036 subscribers to be exact. I think it's 1,037. I don't know. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already to increase those numbers. That way I can get to 2,000, hopefully by the end of the year. That'd be a great goal to accomplish. I got a lot of things that I've been missing out on for the last two months. I missed out on iPhone 14 leaks, iOS 16 leaks, the Mac Studios just came out with the M1 uh, Max and the M1 Ultra. Apple's combining the M1 Max chips and making the M1 Ultra chip out of it. And I wanna make so many videos talking about it. I don't have any of that in my little home studio right now. Just because I reached 1,000 subscribers does not mean I'm suddenly rolling in YouTube money because that takes some time to build up and that's just a whole nother grind. But thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me and following me through this journey back when I started two years ago when I had just like 50 subscribers or something maybe a little over 100 but i didn't have that much but it was a journey nevertheless so thank you guys so much dressed up for the occasion i took an instagram poll uh to see if i should dress up for the occasion and keep it casual and if you don't follow me on instagram i'll leave the description below it's to me tech reviews at instagram so follow me on there so you can participate in some more polls and stuff like that it's kind of a mixture of a personal and professional page so I mean, I've turned my personal page into a professional one just because I had more followers on that one because the other one that I wanted for this channel just really wasn't kicking. So anyway, enough ranting. Thank you again for the thousand subscribers. Let's talk about uh, iOS 16 because that's a little something more up to date, more on topic right now. So I'm going to talk about iOS 16, uh, what we see in the rumors, what to expect, and what do you guys wish to see in iOS 16 because there's some things that probably won't make it that we all probably wish that would. Let's talk about it. Let me get my Mac, my Mac. Let me get my iPad, got the Logitech on here. I made a video about this, so if you don't know what this is, I made a video about it, so yeah. We're gonna talk about iOS 16 and what we found on 9to5Mac. I got 9to5Mac up here right now, and I've got it right here. We're gonna look at 9to5Mac and, um, iOS 16 is going to have no redesign. So, no redesign on iOS 16. Tragic, ain't it? Apple, get it together, man. You've had the same design for the past, like, what, eight years now? Same square or squircle icons. Uh, customization has come a long way. Don't get me wrong. We do have widgets now, finally, but they're not interactive the widgets. Like on Android, with some of the widgets on there, like for a to-do list, for example, you can hit what you did on that to-do list on that widget instead of clicking the widget and going into the application itself. Interactive widgets, we'd love to see that. Personally, my favorite thing is the always-on display. My experience with Samsung phones, always on display, drained the heck out of the battery for whatever reason. But every phone that has an OLED display is capable of an always on display. Why? Because it has OLED technology. LCD screens, the backlighting was all, it wasn't individual. With OLED screens, each individual uh, LED emits its own light, essentially. And once it goes off, it's pitch black. So that's how you have the deeper blacks on OLED screens compared to LCD screens. And any phone that has this is capable of always on display. So it just turns off all those lights and it puts on the clock on there, the icons, whatever. Samsung phones, Google phones, mostly every Android phone has an always on display. It's very useful. What I would love to see, I'm sure what everybody else would love to see, is Apple using an always on display where it can listen to music in the background and show you what's playing. Google Pixel has done a phenomenal job with this. It's not even online based, it's baked into the phone. I'm sure Apple can do this maybe on the iPhone 14 with iOS 16. They can bake into them. I mean, with 
Apple Music's got like the biggest catalog, right? So they can just bake that catalog into the software and then it can pretty much Shazam all your music with always on display. You'll know what's playing, it'll save the history of it, you can look it up later, and then you can just add to your music catalog. Now, knowing Apple, if they ever did this, it'd probably be exclusive to Apple Music users so that they can update it to the Apple library and Spotify users will be out of luck but if obviously if you know what the song is you can just look it up on spotify you just won't have that feature to where it's like saved on the icloud library you can just sync it right away into your music history or something like that something fancy that'd be cool to see right so i would love to see that and uh obviously customization of icons and always on display would be phenomenal so always on display and a redesign is something i would like to see but we probably won't see anytime soon because it's, it's apple notification changes apple did come out with notification notification changes before but but it was scheduled notifications and they grouped it i still had the problem to where i don't know if i have the issue right now with notifications i don't because i don't have a lot of notifications on my phone right now but there's been times where you can clear notifications all of them but there will still be four left over that you have to swipe over individually comment below if you experienced this before if you want to clear notifications sometimes some get left behind and you can't clear it all at once very annoying i would love to see basically ios be very similar to android because android does a very good job with notifications it's got a better smart smart assistant and speaking of smart assistant samsung's smart assistant is bixby but it also works alongside google assistant what i would love to see is siri working alongside the google assistant and Apple allowing Google to do its thing, but knowing Apple, it's not open source like Android is, so it won't allow Google to do its Google things that allows it to do the Google magic because it would require a lot of access to your phone, a lot of access to this, and Apple is very, very big on privacy right now, so I highly doubt they'll ever let Google Assistant just take over your phone and read all your data so that way it can make your life easier. Unfortunately, that probably can't happen, which also leads to call screening, which is also something that Google is doing with Pixel phones to where if someone calls you, Google will pick it up. They will use their assistant to let them know the assistant picked up the phone. Who are you? What do you want? Blah, 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 basically. And you can choose to decline or answer the phone after seeing what the call screen is. So basically, they can talk into it, talk to the Google assistant. If you want to talk to that person, you can. Uh, same thing with restaurant reservations. You can ask Google to make a reservation at a restaurant. It'll talk to the person as if they're a real person and reserve a place for you in the restaurant using just the Google Assistant. But Siri probably will never do that. I mean, I'm sure they will maybe at some point, but it'd be cool if maybe Siri could do that at least since they probably won't allow it to work alongside Google Assistant. Something personally I would like to see, but we probably won't see it. Moving along, we have new health features. Don't know what that's gonna be. I'm assuming it's gonna work alongside Watch OS. What are we on? Eight now? Nine? Eight point five? I don't know. But new health features, obviously, because Apple's giving me a lot of health features. What I would like to see is their sleep mode uh, updated. More data, REM sleep, deep sleep, instead of just sleep hours, heart rate. Instead of just having these third-party apps where you have to pay to like access data and look at your heart rate, respiration rate, all that stuff. So that's something I would like to see with the health rate features. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it with iOS 16. I would love to see just more customization, man. And the app library. Uh, Android does a very, very better job with the app library. Swipe up, all your apps are there. I mean, don't get me wrong, Apple's got the good idea with like smartly organizing your apps based on what it is, such as uh, health, uh, productivity, uh, shopping and all this other stuff it's cool but I like to see it better instead of swiping all the way to the right to access all these apps maybe swipe up or triple tap on the screen I don't know something cooler and the battery percentage obviously I'm pretty sure I still can't see battery percentage off the top when I look at my phone yeah no battery percentage love to see that uh, especially with the iPhone 14 coming out it's gonna have more room obviously since there's no notch to put that there so since I'll be running iOS 16, maybe it's something they can implement on there. I don't know. More customizations. That's pretty much what I like to see in a little redesign, but that probably won't happen. But notification bundles, a smarter Siri maybe with capability of reserving restaurants, that'd be cool. Um, that's it for me. I'm trying to keep these videos short and concise and somewhat informative, or hopefully very informative. But that's the rumors and hopefully stuff will come true, hopefully stuff.
yeah hopefully something does come true hopefully stuff doesn't come true why would you want something that you want not to come true stupid anyway i'm back i'm trying to make more videos so bear with me i'm gonna be talking about the iphone 14 whatever i can find on that and i'm gonna talk about the new microphone that i'm using i am using the d80 d3 pro right now instead of my akg mic so hopefully it sounds good and i'll make a video about that unboxing that i got the google nest home on here i love it it's working very good prefer it over alexa honestly and i got some other stuff sent from other companies i'm gonna review and look at and probably give away because i don't have space for it but they're pretty cool stuff so stay tuned for that if you like this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll be back with more soon and be a little bit more entertaining i just it's been a minute i missed you guys hopefully you missed me too and uh yeah stay safe peace